It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, mid-Michigan spirited sports debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, mid-Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass on Fox 47. We are less than three weeks away from college football's 2022 kickoff, and four weeks from tonight, Michigan State and Michigan should both be 1-0 after combining for 23 wins a year ago. We'll take a look at both programs, past, present, and future, and examine the Big Ten race and the national picture. And we'll take a long look at the Detroit Tigers after a big day for Sweet Lou in yet another sour week. Here to talk about all that and more is Team 462, Press Pass, heralded freshman, Angelique Shingelis. She is the angel of the big house, Lloyd Carr's all-time favorite writer, and a Michigan football mainstay for the Detroit News. You ready for some football, Angelique? I think you forgot to mention, Jack, that I was a five-star recruit coming into this position. Uh, you know, I think a lot of, I had a lot of prospects, a lot of offers, yeah, but yeah. I, I did choose the Detroit News. So here I am, year, I think this is my uh, 31st year covering the team, 32nd, something like that. Well, uh, the news is just lucky you never went in the portal. And, uh, <laughs> would have had a lot of offers. We are also joined by Rico Beard, longtime Detroit radio and TV personality, recruiting insider and co-host of the Valeni Show with Rico on 97 won the ticket. How you doing, Rico? I mean, next to Angelique, I'm just a walk-on. I, I wasn't a five-star. I didn't get scouted. <laughs> Nobody really cared for me. It was just hard work and grinding, and I, I made it to this point in life. Well, it won't be long, and we will have Big Ten teams, I think, pretty successful in the month of September, although although we do have Notre Dame and Ohio State in a very important opener, and then we'll get into October, and I think we'll really see what the teams from the state of Michigan have to offer. Enrico, a big week in downtown Detroit, not because the Tigers played well, but because they got to honor an all-time great. Yeah, Lou Whitaker, it was about time. The funny thing was, everybody always said, well, how come he's not in the Baseball Hall of Fame? And I, and I used to say, well, how come he's not in the Tiger Hall of Fame? How come the Tigers haven't done it? You do it first, and maybe baseball will follow it up. I think there's a good chance. We saw it with Alan Trammell, Angelique, and I think we might be seeing the same thing with Sweet Lou coming up. We have well, a lot I of college we- football to talk about coming up next, and we'll start with Michigan State here on Press Pass. For over 40 years, Jet has been making the best Detroit-style pizza on the planet. Celebrate our 44th anniversary with hot deals all month long. Jet's better because it has to be. Welcome to BetMGM Live Dealer. All your favorite casino games, blackjack, poker, roulette, craps, and more. All on your phone, desktop, or tablet 24-7. Play with friends or make new ones at the tables. Double down, Dave. Chat with players and live dealers like you're at the casino. Give me a 10. Yes! Now you're betting with the king of live dealer. Get a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 when you use bonus code live deal. Are you a Lions fan? At the Holton Diamondale Insurance Agency, we are Lions fans! Call your hometown team today. Bobcat of Lansing, we are Lions fans. We're one tough animal. Save the tailgating for the game. Go Lions! The Falcons fly to Detroit to take on the Lions. Coverage begins Friday at 5:30 on Fox 47. I'm Bob Hoffman. Join me every Friday night as I take you across Mid Michigan and introduce you to people making a difference in the lives of others. Watch Good Neighbors with Bob Hoffman, Friday only on Fox 47 News at 10. The Falcons fly to Detroit to take on the Lions. Coverage begins Friday at 5.30 on Fox 47. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. 
We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 107 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you, as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. For a new or used vehicle, go green, go Graf. Yep, 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 there it is, there it is, thank you, thank you, thank you, I can never tell when there is a big play in practice, whether that means the offense is really good or the defense hasn't improved much from being 130th in the nation against the pass a year ago. Uh, Rico, with the tight end core, uh, looking stronger this year. Do you buy Malik Carr's Twitter message today? I told y'all, when you see six, you see six. Jack, I'm going to tell you this. Here's something that I've learned since high school. Nobody loves Malik Carr more than Malik Carr. Malik is his <laughs> number one fan. He will always believe in himself, but I, I do think that the tight end position will take that next step. It's something that Jay Johnson wanted to use last season. Didn't really have the guys. Malik kind of came on near the end. But, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing for Malik is he's just going to have to learn how to block. I mean, you know the saying at MSU, no block, no rock. He gets right. more into the blocking, which he did. I think you're going to see a lot more of him. Angelique, uh, I want to take a look at another football slash basketball player in East Lansing. Ripped wide receiver Keon Coleman. Uh, could he be a breakout performer as a sophomore? And this might be the toughest question you've been asked in a long time. Which member of the media corps most resembles Keon Coleman? I mean, that's that's so easy, Jack. It's Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say I, Wojo. <laughs> I mean, was this a trick question? I don't know, but... Yeah, I mean, he's 6'4", he's 200 pounds. I mean, to me, you know, that's that's prototype. I mean, the guy's got the length. He's got a really good quarterback that's it's going to be throwing to him. He had uh, close to 70 snaps, I think, on offense last year. Yeah. He had a touchdown uh, reception against Ohio State. I, I mean, to me, these are those are very good numbers to build on for this year, and I would think he's someone that they will rely on, that Michigan State will re will rely on. You know, I think about like Nico Collins had that size. He was a little, I think, a little thicker. But those are the kind of receivers that I would, I would like to have if I were an offensive coordinator to throw to. And and he seems like like that kind of guy. And I, you know, I, I don't know MSU's personnel as well as Rico does, obviously. But I think he's someone that that they would have to rely on. and will re will rely on this season. Yeah, and I think uh, well, if he had seven more touchdown catches against Ohio State, they'd have been right in that game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Rico, yeah. <laughs> when we look at the nine programs with four or more New Year's Six Bowl appearances in the last nine years, there are only nine. Mm -hmm. uh, what does MSU's inclusion on this list tell you? I mean, it, it shows that it looks like they've made that transition from D'Antonio to Mel Tucker, that it didn't just end, that Mel Tucker was able to get one of those games in there as well. I mean, we all know what Mark D'Antonio did. The program kind of fell off near the end. But now it looks like Tucker's trying to build something and, and, and you know, try to keep Michigan State to be a relevant program in college football. Oh, Angelique, I, I, let's I, take a look. Oh, I, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to piggyback on that. I mean, I, I don't yeah. think Mel's trying to. I think he is. I mean, I, I think he's, you know, he's definitely building something significant there that that's going to be reckoned with. 
And right. um, and you're right. It started with D'Antonio, and and I don't see him not picking up uh, and and taking off with this Tucker. I mean, Angelique, let's take a look at MSU's schedule this season with the Vegas over under of seven and a half wins and a lot of early money backing the Spartans. Which games do you see them losing? You know, I, that stretch, that Ohio State, Wisconsin, Michigan stretch is really tough. I mean, they've got the the Buckeyes and, and Badgers at home. Um, I, I think that, you know, I, I, Ohio State's going to be just Ohio State this year. I mean, I, I don't think anyone's beating them. So I think that's that's a, that's a game that Michigan State uh, will probably lose. Uh, you yeah. know, I don't like making predictions. I'm not good at it. And I've got them at this point, you know, I, I've – <laughs> I've got them losing in Ann Arbor, but I, I can always be swayed uh, to um, change that pick. Right. Angelique, you got to love it when Jack puts you on the spot like that. He does it all the time. <laughs> it was just that same for somebody other than me. You can handle it, Rico. She's a veteran. Uh, Angelique, uh, here's a shot of MSU's newest basketball recruits. Four-star Texas wing Gehrig Normand with Tom Izzo. Uh, Gehrig is the taller one there. Uh, how is Izzo putting together a top five incoming class when critics said the game had passed him by? You know, Jack, I don't get it with people ever criticizing Tom Izzo. I mean, I, I, I always think this guy and, and maybe I'm wrong. Some of the, some of the tournament runs I've, I've had Michigan state going far and they, and they've had some mishaps yeah. in the tournament, but I, I believe in this guy. I don't think the game has passed him by. I think yeah. he knows how to recruit still. He knows how to coach still. He still yeah. has the energy to do it. So yeah. I, I don't I don't buy that criticism. And and I, I really hope it's not prevalent because it's wrong. We'll be right back with Michigan up next here on Press Pass. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to delicious. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Don't miss an all-new MasterChef, Wednesday on Fox. Do you want to make it easier on your loved ones once you pass away? I can help decrease family fights, avoid court and time costs, and keep your information private. I'm Tara Peterson. We protect you, your family, and your wallet. Call Crenshaw Peterson today. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. Peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakamist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our Peace of Mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. There's plenty of fun to be had in mid-Michigan if you know where to look. From finding fabulous foods to having fun in the sun, we've got you covered. Check out Things to Do with Tiana Jenkins at fox47news.com. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Lansing's Best segment, brought to you by the Greater Lansing Sports Authority. Bring thousands of athletes and teams to mid-Michigan for dozens of tournaments and special events. Hats off to everyone at the GLSA for showing just what this area can be. 
There you see Michigan sophomore quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, throwing a long, beautiful pass and uh, brought in by wideout Roman Wilson. And I can see Tom Crawford is jumping up and down excited as he watches this. Uh, Rico, I thought you'd want to look at Tom's pick to start a quarterback for the Wolverines. Do you think he will beat out Cade McNamara? And uh, maybe by the time his team starts playing real opponents in October, and if he doesn't, how are you supposed to vote for him for the Heisman Trophy? You know what, Jack, I've said, the, and Tom and I get into this weird argument, but I, I just don't know what else K. McNamara has to do. I mean, he took the team to the Big Ten title. He beat Ohio State. He took him to the college football Final Four. And he still is just on the outside looking in. So I think eventually it's just going to be J.J.'s job because that's what the people want. Because I've often told Tom, if it were reversed and J.J. did all of the things that K. did, would we even be saying that Kay could compete for that job? Yeah. Well, he competed pretty well against Michigan State last year, over 400 yards passing. Right. And I think Angel Anthony just scored again. Uh, Angelique, uh, let's take a look at Jim Harbaugh's record in the games he is paid to win. Uh, how would the program be different if he had been offered a job by the Vikings when uh, the seven-year itch hit in Ann Arbor? Well, we're presuming he would have taken that job, right? I mean, I I, I yeah. believed he was going to be in the NFL. I I really did in January. I thought sixty percent shot he was going to be going to to somewhere. And I I think right now I think I, I think Ward Manuel would have would have elevated Mike Hart. I really do. I think that yeah. you know he's someone who wow. was an associate head coach at Indiana. Um, I think he's uh, pretty seasoned for a guy who's been in coaching for now eleven, maybe twelve years. And yeah. I, I think that was definitely um, a, a very big option for them. I, Josh Gaddis was in the mix. I, I would think that um, if Ward was going to go with either of those two, he would have taken my cart. Wow. Wow. Rico, uh, when you think about the Wolverines' magical season, uh, except for uh, a couple of stumbles in the last weeks of October and December, pretty spectacular stuff. When did you know that U of M would rule the league and get it shot in the college football playoff? You know what? It was that comeback victory at Penn State. Um, when, when all of a sudden they were down, they fumbled the ball late, but they held on. They didn't let Penn State score, and then they got the game-winning shot. At that point, I said, you know what? They're for real. They're going to give Ohio State a battle. I didn't see it going that way, but right. I thought that they would give them a game, and they ended up blowing Ohio State's doors off. Angelique, as we look at U of M's schedule this year, uh, what did you think of the Jim Harbaugh-Tom Crawford exchange at Big Ten Media Days about scheduling, and and uh, could the Wolverines schedule in September come back to bite them? You know, when I when I heard Tom's question, I, I wasn't surprised with Jim's response, which was really not much of a response. Um, just sort of stared at him, I believe, and, and said, yeah. you know, like, yeah, okay. And, but I thought I thought it was legitimate. I mean, this is not a, a very yeah. exciting non-conference schedule. Colorado State, Hawaii, UConn, woo! And uh, you know, I, I get it. Uh, you want to see a Texas in, in Ann Arbor. You want to see big teams. Right. You want you know, if if you could work this out. And and yes, I, I think I've heard your comments too, Jack. That you know, the head coach has some say in it. I, I think Ward Manuel is yeah. doing a lot of the the uh, moving of the chess pieces here, but. You know, but Jim Harbaugh is involved, and I would think that they would want to play. You know, what happened to playing Notre Dame early? You know, that getting yeah. getting your measuring stick game, as they used to say. So yeah, this is not very exciting. It's not even exciting to even think that I'll be going to those games. <laughs> really? Uh, Rico, not looking forward to Hawaii. Uh, the eight p.m. Hawaii game? Yeah, that'll be crazy. <laughs> Rico, I want to check out the records of the last 17 U of M and MSU head coaches in their first two meetings with the interstate rival. What does it mean that Mel Tucker is the first leader since the 1940s to start 2-0 in those matchups? I mean, when you look at all the names of the people on that list, Jack, and some of the names are some really good names. Like there's this guy, Saban. I, I heard he went on to do some yeah. pretty great things. It's pretty, 
it, it means a lot that Mel Tucker was actually able to become the first coach to go two and oh. I think it was the first win that shocked everybody. I'm still wondering how you could be a 23 point underdog and pull off that victory in Ann Arbor. I know that that's back when we did the cardboard cutouts, but I think that one was big. Last year it was fun because the world was watching, but it was that first one that was the head scratcher. Like, did they just beat Michigan? Right, right. Well, it was a busy week in Ann Arbor. I'm actually wearing my teal today in honor of Stephen Ross, uh, who was suspended as the owner of the Dolphins, and uh, announcement that Brandon Narado is the interim replacement for Mel Pearson as hockey coach. We'll see how that works out. The city of Lansing has fun activities for all ages. Swimming, fitness and wellness classes, basketball camp, concerts, kids camp. To enjoy these activities and many more, visit lansingmi.gov slash parks. Come see all the beautiful flooring options available at American Flooring. American Flooring offers the newest selection of designs and products from Shaw Floors, featuring Cortec, Anderson Tuffix, and much more. From luxurious carpet, beautiful hardwoods, durable luxury vinyl, and elegant tile, our expert designers are here to help you realize all your flooring dreams. With three locations to serve you, Okemos at Central Park Place on Marsh Road, DeWitt in the Shady Plaza, and on West Saginaw next to Kohl's. Let American Flooring make all your flooring dreams come true. Lego Masters is roaring back. He's okay. September 21st on Fox. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified, humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for the big picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. Ran him out of the building in a national championship. They'll throw it out to Edwards. Edwards fires. He's got a wide open man. Oh, it's cut. Robert Wilson. Touchdown, Michigan. 75 yards. Josh Gaddis pulls a rabbit out of his hat. That was the biggest play on a big night for the Wolverines. I love seeing those fans who just can't believe what they're watching from other teams. And you heard a very excited Gus Johnson on the call. Uh, Angelique, uh, you were there. What was the feeling in Lucas Oil Stadium when U of M whipped Iowa, won its first Big Ten title since 2004, and it came just one week after the tremendous win over Ohio State the first in that series in a decade. It was definitely electric in there, Jack. I mean, as you said, I mean, it, what a long drought. 2004, the last Big Ten championship for a Michigan football team. So I, I think that that was all of it. It was like sort of getting that that Ohio State game off of their back and then winning a Big Ten title. And there was they had this feeling of invincibility. But I'll, I'll say going back to Rico's point about Kate McNamara, 
you know, the yeah. guy, he was one guy who kept it focused, you know, he, even yeah. the next day, he's like, look, there's still a lot to prepare for. And, and he was the one who kind of kept everybody settled in, I think, and uh, obviously didn't help against Georgia, but he did keep things focused. Rico, let's take a look at the 11 winners of the Big Ten championship game. Uh, the teams with banners hanging from the rafters. Only five schools are represented here. Which Big Ten program becomes the sixth? <laughs> oh, wow, Jack. That's a interesting question. You know what? I, I think maybe, maybe you have to look out west or you're going to have to wait till USC or UCLA gets into the mix I, because I don't really see a team strong enough to beat Ohio State until USC yeah. jumps in here. I think they will be the next team. Angelique, as we look at last year's Big Ten standings, you can see why some people are down on divisions. But until that changes, maybe next year or in 2024, that's what we have. Do you think divisions, uh, whatever they're called, is the best way to go? I mean, I think that's how you you can navigate a large, I mean, an increasingly larger conference. I don't I don't like these this divisions. I I, I don't. I mean, I, everybody knows the West is weaker and yeah. they've got to do something to balance it. it. It's just the East is just, they just beat up on each other. And, uh, you know, I don't know how you would change this. It's going to be very interesting with the new additions uh, and eventually Notre Dame when uh, Notre Dame does join the Big Ten. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I'm not sure I, I love divisions, but I think that's the way you can handle a large conference like this. I, I think it's the only way you can do it. And I think if you have 16 teams, you have to break them up somehow. I'm not sure how that'll be. But we go as we look at the as we look at the current divisions listed alphabetically. Give me your one, two, three order of finish in the West, and then the same in the East. Okay, in the West, Jack, uh, I'm gonna go with the surprise. I'm gonna go with Purdue, then I'm gonna go with Wisconsin, and then I'm gonna go with uh i guess iowa in the uh, east in the east i mean it's ohio state and do we really need to fill out the rest of the bracket <laughs> angelique what do you think oh i mean i i'm i'm gonna agree with uh with rico here i, I mean i i don't know how else you do it i mean i i think that's i think he's spot on I mean, I like I Purdue like because Minnesota. here's the thing. Purdue doesn't have to play Michigan, Michigan State, or Ohio State this season. They get the easy step. Yeah. I, I think Purdue's going to be really good. Not really good, but but good. I think they're, they're definitely the team to watch in the West. Angelique, as we take one more peek at last season's Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, and Coach of the Year in the league, who do you see earning those honors this season? Well, I mean, I, I was just going to say C.J. Stroud. I, I really do. I like him. I like Smith, you know, Jackson, uh, Smith, Nijba. I think he's he's a really good – he's a good candidate. And and I think you got to look at, at Iowa. I mean, I, their linebacker, Jack Campbell, I mean, big guy. Right. He's going to be a force, and I think he's a guy you definitely look at. We will be right back. We'll take a look at the national landscape up next on Press Pass. When you take a look inside Dart Bank – you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling, at Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. 
peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. MLB returns to the field of dreams, Thursday at 6 on Fox. For over 40 years, Jet has been making the best Detroit-style pizza on the planet. Celebrate our 44th anniversary with hot deals all month long. Jet's better because it has to be. In 1946, Detroit-style pizza was born at Buddy's. With a square steel season pan and handcrafted double stretch dough that's layered with margarita pepperoni, covered corner to corner with Wisconsin brick cheese and topped with classic sauce, this is the pizza that started a style. Experience the original eight square pizza and get another half off with promo code BOGO8. Congratulations, Spencer Vanderheide, the Michigan Lottery's 2022 Educator of the Year. Take time today to nominate an outstanding public educator for an Excellence in Education Award. Find out more at fox47news.com. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton, South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. You see what the Big Ten looked like from 1953 through 1992. That's a 40-year period after Michigan State replaced the University of Chicago. Actually, they were the Big Nine for several years. Uh, and then it's a nice little bus league, very compact. Rico, before Michigan State College was admitted to the league in December 1949, approval to play football four years later, uh, you see it was much, much different geographically. Uh, it stayed there for four decades, but what made the Big Ten suddenly a coast-to-coast -coast conference? Oh, Jack, that's easy. It's money. I mean, you, you heard Kevin Warren kind of talk about it at the Big Ten Media Day. I mean, the Big Ten is trying to really capitalize and, and make money. They're, they're looking at potentially a $1.5 billion TV contract when you go coast to coast, when you include Rutgers, because it's always funny how everybody wants to kick Rutgers out. And I'm like, guys, think about this. Monetarily, Rutgers is Ohio State. There's no Big Ten making – Mel Tucker's not making this type of money without that Rutgers, New York, New Jersey – cable packages and now going out to LA you got Chicago in the mix they got three they got the top three cities all Big Ten Network all in those cable packages so yeah it, it was about money Jack that's plain and simple follow the money we always say that and uh, it comes back to roost here Angelique let's take a look at another map where the league will be in 2024 uh, frequent flyer miles aside, what do you think of Westward Ho? Uh, what should the league's name be with 16 teams? And what might this map look like in 2027? Wow, what a footprint, right? I mean, you, they used to use, throw that around all the time, and you could sort of see the footprint going to Lincoln and, and yeah. Piscataway, and but now I don't know what you call it. I, it certainly is interesting. I don't know what you call it. I, I, you know, I don't think you're changing the Big Ten name. That's the brand. But, um, you know, here's an interesting fact. I was at Wimbledon enjoying myself for two days when this is all breaking. And I find out that Kevin Warren was there the same two days I was at Wimbledon. He was also there apparently talking to potential, um, you know, marketing people that, that will be involved in, in the Big Ten somehow, some way. And I thought he came I, to see you. Yeah, that's right. But look, the only thing I've been told, and I saw what Dennis Dodd reported about adding uh, teams like Washington, Oregon, you know, you're looking at, at those other pac, pac whatever team whatever we're calling the pac 12 now um right. yeah the only team team i've been told by people at michigan and that there were conversations and they're just too far apart on money is notre dame and i think that's yeah, yeah. the one school that they want they've always we all know that it's not a big secret so that's what i'm waiting for is, is an addition of notre dame 
See, and I've always said Notre Dame has kept the Big Ten in the friend zone for so long. It may be time to just move on. Now, the funny thing is, remember when they did the Big Ten, but they had Penn State join, but you saw the 11 in there? You could easily yeah. turn their G into a six with the 16 teams. Oh, right, so the marketing, the brand manager here. <laughs> Rico, I want to take a look at the five biggest Power Five coaching changes since last season. Which move will be the most successful and which one aren't you buying? I am not buying Brian Kelly at LSU. I think, and Angelique will get this reference, but I think he's a dead man walking at LSU. <laughs> it will not happen because the culture, I mean, this, all of a sudden the fake Southern accent in the recruits videos, it, he's not going to fit there. Trust me, he'll be gone in two years. Lincoln Riley in USC, I think that was a perfect match. He's going to get the recruits and the players. Well, it is time for national AP top 25 votes, and we'll see how those work out. We'll be right back. Are you a Lions fan? Here at MSU FCU, we are Lions fans. Go Lions! Here at Joe's Body Shop in Perry, we love the Detroit Lions. Go Lions! Here at the David Chapman Agency, we are Lions fans! The Falcons fly to Detroit to take on the Lions. Coverage begins Friday at 5.30 on Fox 47. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Watch Good Neighbors with Bob Hoffman, Friday only on Fox 47 News at 10. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakland, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Michigan weather can be unpredictable. Stay in the know with Fox 47 forecasts available 24 seven on our mobile app. Welcome back to press pass on Fox 47. It's time for our one and only segment brought to you by one North kitchen and bar on West Saginaw voted Lansing's best new restaurant and best sports bar. One North is the one place I take guests for amazing scratch cooking, craft cocktails, and more than 40 TVs to watch every game on every channel. That's One North Kitchen and Bar, where friends and family gather to make good times great. For four years, I've been uncomfortable. I'm extremely honored and grateful to have my number three retired. But there wouldn't be a number three on the wall without number one.
A lot of emotion yesterday in downtown Detroit and a lot of tears, including from Kirk Gibson up in the press box. Uh, Rico, which day was better in downtown Detroit this year? Miguel Cabrera getting hit 3,000 or Lou Whitaker taking his place on the outfield wall and a 9-1 to comeback win? I mean, I, I think it was Lou Whitaker, Jack. I mean, you knew Miggy was going to do a lot of great things coming up, but Lou Whitaker never really got his just due from Major League Baseball or even the Detroit Tigers for some reason. As Alan Trammell said, they put Trammell in, but they left Lou out. And growing up as a kid, man, I remember that double play combination. And it's, it's like, how can you have one without the other? And now I think it's complete. It, it, it took too long, but – I like the fact that 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 Lou Whitaker, Sweet Lou, is finally going to get his number retired, and somebody's going to acknowledge what he did during his baseball career with the Tigers. Amazing that he ranks seventh in baseball history in walk-off hits. Never I mean, would have thought that. Jack, Angelique, I still remember when they lost his All-Star jersey, and he, he literally had to run out to like a sporting goods store to get a like a, a crappy Tigers jersey to play the All-Star game in. A, a magic marker. They drew a one on the back. Of it. Uh, Angelique, is it inevitable now that Whitaker will join Trammel in Cooperstown where Trammaker belongs? Well, you would think so. And, and for the reason you just said, Trammaker. But, you know, I don't know how voters work. I don't know how they uh, how their minds work. I thought Dan Dickerson made a really good point, though. Uh, he mentioned, you know, he had similar numbers to, to Joe Morgan, who was my childhood favorite. I grew up in Cincinnati mm -hmm. and had Joe Morgan's poster on my wall. You know, he was my guy. And, and the numbers are very similar. And and you see Joe in there. So, you know, you're kind of like, well, why not? And 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 just also for the reason because of, of Trammell. So, I, you know... It's something my colleague Tony Paul has written about too. That that people huh. kind of flirted with this topic, but didn't really go there. And and he's like, look, everybody knows he should be in. So who knows how the voters work, though? Rico, let's take a look at the scene at a packed Comerica Park yesterday. Something we haven't seen much this year. Uh, was this the last time a lot of fans will visit Comerica or downtown Detroit till the Lions get going? And is there any reason for them to care with a team that could lose 100 games again? No, unless uh, – and Miguel Cabrera came back – said he's going to come back next year. I thought maybe if Mickey retired, his final game at, at Comerica Park will be jam-packed. But if he's going to come back, then there is no point of anybody going back. I said – uh, when on, on Monday with the Lions opening up camp, that that was the official end of baseball season in Detroit. <laughs> I can see that. Angelique, it was another two and five week for the Tigers. What's worse, being shut out today for the 15th time this season or walking 13 Rays Friday and seeing all-star closer Gregory Soto give up two hits and three straight two-out walks in a seven-run ninth inning today. So you're asking me to choose between two horribles, Jack? I mean, <laughs> really, I, yeah, I'm not sure work? where to go here with that. But I'm I, – You want to drown or die by fire? <laughs> shutouts. I mean, 15 shutouts, that's pretty brutal. But the pitch, you know, I, I don't know where you go with this. I, it's all bad. And um, But I would say the, sh the shutouts are, are pretty brutal. Rico, I want to take a look at the best and the worst teams in Major League Baseball. Now, we're done with the trading deadline. Uh, how long will it take? And give me the year till Detroit moves from the worst five to the best five. Wow. Um, let me see. It's 2022, Jack. You're, you're probably looking at an owner who doesn't really care for spending a lot a general manager who seems like he can't pick talent. He couldn't pick the winner of a one horse race, man. You may be looking at like 2027. I hate to sound so depressing, but I can't see. I, I just don't see it anytime soon. Do you have teams from that list that are going to be in the world series Rico from the worst or the best or from the best? Oh yeah. I mean, the Yankees look good until they play the Astros and then the Astros will just knock them out. Yeah. Don't sleep on the Astros. We will be right back. Take a look at golf coming up next and a visit to Treetops.
Got an old car, wrecked car, or a junk car. We pay cash for these cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs, whether they are running or not. Towing is available. Call us today for a quote or click to submit a quote online. Put some cash in your pocket. Michigan Summers. Famous for three months of nonstop fun and travel. There's so much we can do over the next few months. From checking out lighthouses to kayaking our rivers. Fox 47 is looking for ways to celebrate summer. Post your pictures by scanning the QR code on your screen and visit fox47news.com forward slash MI Summer to check out all the galleries. Brought to you by Holt and Diamonddale Insurance Agency. Call your hometown team today. Stay tuned to Fox 47 for more ways to make the most of your summer. I'm a 10. I'm a 10. I'm an 11. We've got you covered with Fox 47 News at 10. And starting August 15, Fox 47 News at 11. Fox 47 News in your neighborhood. Oh my goodness. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. Peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOkemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Welcome back to Press Pass on Fox 47. It's time for The Long Drive, brought to you by MI Golf Journal, your one-stop online shop for all things golf in the state of Michigan. It's a winning foursome of the latest news, course reviews, features, and great profiles. You can read at no charge each month, just as I do. Go to migolfjournal.com and sign up with an email. The best deal in sports. Time to talk some great golf in one of the greatest states for golf in this country. And welcome back. Tom Lang he is Mr. Michigan Golf Journal. And also welcome Kevin McKinley. He is Director of Golf and Ski for Treetops Resort. Tom, do you want to do a proper introduction of Kevin and his great facility? Sure. Uh, Kevin's been at Treetops for almost two decades. Former uh, president of the Michigan PGA. And uh, I think, Kevin, when I think of up north golf, I think of treetops. I'm sure a lot of other people do. And we're coming up quickly on the fall golf season. Before we know it, it'll be here. Can you uh, give people an idea of uh, what it's like to experience fall golf at treetops? And maybe you might have some specials going on. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and, and uh, we're right in the thick of the booking season right now. And if you, if you wait much longer, um, you'll, you'll miss out on fall golf. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I think of fall golf, I think of treetops, it's all in the name. Um, you, you have so many perches here, including the one on hole number six of the Jones that Robert Trent Jones stood on. Our name wasn't treetops at the time, 35 years ago. And he looked over at uh, our then owner, Harry Melling and said, Harry, I don't know if, if Sylvan is, uh, you know, something you got to hang on to. But if I were you, I'd call this place treetops because all I can see are the tops of trees. And, and the fall is the perfect time, uh, um, among others. I mean, it's great all year round, but it's the perfect time to experience treetops because you can see for miles and miles. And, and it yeah. seems like everywhere you turn, there's a vista and, yeah. and you're just looking at color all over the place. Kevin, as we look at some aerial views of the course, can you tell us what we're seeing and uh, fill us in on why treetops is so popular 
besides having a near perfect location in terms of access. Yeah, beautiful hole number one on the signature course, the signature as uh, Rick Smith's first 18 hole design here. So he, he was able to watch Robert Trent Jones Sr. design the masterpiece, watch Tom Fazio design the Fazio course. And then Rick was like, you know what, I'm going to get into the design game. And, and he passed with flying colors, um, actually toured uh, many golf courses over in Scotland and Ireland before he actually came back and, and designed these golf courses here. Um, just variety is, is what I think of here. We're looking at hole number 10 on the signature as well. Um, every single golf course, and we have five of them here, um, you, you have a different feeling, I think, when you get off of, of each of those golf courses. So it's just a, a lot of variety, and you're just not going to play the, the same type of hole twice. It's, it's such a beautiful place up here, 81 holes. You can play all weekend long and never have to play the same hole twice. Tom, you stayed and played at Treetops. What stood out to you? Well, uh, I think the greatness of their uh, ability to keep reinvesting money into the courses and the buildings. Uh, Kevin, if I heard correctly, you guys have invested like $5 million in just the last two years and $18 million in like the eight, last eight or nine years. Can you uh, give us a little idea where some of that money went into and why? Yeah, I mean, and, and it's a it's a smattering of, of everywhere. Um, you know, we want to be a Four Seasons resort and Certainly we're well known for golf and, and have the number one par three course in America and the tour greats have played here and, and loved it. Not, not just, they haven't just played here. They've actually played here and, and raved about it and returned time and time again. Um, but, you know, in recent years, it's been a lot about the lodging. You know, we, we kind of uh, for a while there had a golf product that, that maybe didn't match up with the lodging product and needed to bring the lodging product up to snuff and, so some cottage designs recently, and then this year, um, brand new chalet designs. People might might remember the chalets as you kind of head down the the hill towards the ski resort. Actually, um, there's some there's six buildings of chalets. They kind of were surrounded by a putting green down there, and those have all been redesigned into two and three bedroom condos. Um, major investment in the ski operation as well. So it it doesn't just it doesn't just get invested in the golf. We make sure that uh, the entire resort as a whole, uh, that people are gonna enjoy it wherever they are. Kevin, I'm a big fan of three tops, although yeah. I've lost more balls there than anyone should on a premier par three layout. Uh, you've had so many winners of major championships who played in your par three shootout. And Tom, we've talked about a statewide golf tour for the long drive next season. I think I know where our first stop outside Greater Lansing should be. <laughs> I'm game, Kevin, you want us to come up? <laughs> Bring it on and uh, we'll we'll take uh, more of your golf balls in the woods that uh, turns into <laughs> instant cash for us in the pro shop. So we certainly appreciate that. But yeah, well, the number one ranked part three. And Kevin McKinley, we'll be right back with our cool and smooth segment up next. Current temperature and time, sponsored by Cure Auto Insurance. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakness, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakamist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass on Fox 47. It's time for our cool and smooth segment. Brought to you by five great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Okemos North and South, North Lansing, West Lansing, and DeWitt. 
Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. Drivers, start, start your engines. Go green. I guess you could be talking about the green flag. There's lots of things that you could refer to there. You see Mel Tucker and Tom Izzo waiting out the rain to give the starting command today at Michigan International Speedway. It is the Firekeepers Casino 400. And there you see Tucker with Josh Balicki and the Ziegler Auto uh, 77 Chevrolet brought it to Spartan Stadium. At the players, a look at that. Uh, Angelique, uh, I can't imagine too many coaches, once practice has started, to take a day and do that. No, I know. I kind of, I, I actually sort of like wondered about that too. And I, I it's, it's having covered racing forever. It is, yeah. I don't know that Mel Tucker has done that before, or gone to a stock car race. It is a thrill, at least the first yeah. time you see it. I thought it was great. I mean, it's great for the state. It's it's great for him. It's it's spreading the brand, the Michigan State brand. And, um, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of Michigan and Michigan State fans at the race. So, you know, why not be there and and, and enjoy? And I think he looked like he enjoyed it. And I, my colleague, Dave Gricky, who covered it, had a picture of him also with Izzo also and Tucker in in the crew, like watching the race with the crew. Oh. So I, I think that they were really taking part in in being part of the whole scene there. Well, Rico, Izzo was probably telling the pit crew what it should do. <laughs> right. Of why you don't play, uh, ever play zone, you only play man-to-man. -man. <laughs> Angelique, uh, do you have a play of the week for us? I do. I mean, I would give you a tennis play, but no one would care. So I, this is, I'm going to go out of the box a little bit. Uh, game Day announced Jess Sims joining College Game Day and you might not know her peloton instructor and she does she works a lot with women's basketball wmba i i think she's a great personality i really enjoy i i'm a peloton enthusiast i i think yeah. she's a really good ad for game day and i'm going to be really curious to see what she does i know people were critical of this move but i think she's going to be really good rico what do you have for our team of the week team of the week jack i can't believe i'm saying this is bad of a week they had it's the detroit tigers for finally acknowledging Lou Whitaker and retiring his number. It was a long time coming. So when they do something good, I have to give them praise. So Tigers, you're my team of the week. All right, uh, team 462. How about our player of the week? He's not a player, but 67 years as a broadcaster for the Dodgers, um, Vin Scully. And uh, you see him. Uh, here he is, a Grand Marshal of the Tournament of Roses Parade. This is back in January 1st, 2014, the 100th Rose Bowl. And here he is with Magic Johnson walking on the field at Dodger Stadium. Uh, he will be missed. Even Ernie Harwell loved Vince Scully. For Angelique Shingelis and Rico Beard, we'll see you next week, everyone. Have a great week.